ABC is a triangle. The internal bisector of the angles A, B and C intersect the circumcircle at X, Y and Z respectively. Angle A is 50 degrees. Angle C, Z, Y is 30 degrees. Then what is angle B, Y, Z? Or angle B, Y, Z will be equal to what? Right, so basically it says ABC is a triangle. Right? Let's say ABC is a triangle. The internal bisectors of the angles A, B and C intersect the circumcircle. Circumcircle of what? Circumcircle of the triangle ABC at the points X, Y and Z respectively. So, so let's draw the figure. I think it's all about getting the figure right. right? So let's say this is a triangle ABC. Right? We are drawing a circumcircle to this triangle. Let me draw a circumcircle. Okay, let's, this is a circumcircle. So A, B, C is the triangle. And this is a circumcircle. Now he says internal bisectors of the angles A, B and C intersect the circumcircle at X, Y and Z respectively. So internal bisector of angle A. So bisector of angle A. So from A, you draw an internal bisector, right? You know what is an internal bisector? An internal bisector of angle A is that, that line which divides the angle A into two equal halves. So you draw that line. It meets the circle at the point X. The internal bisector of angle B meets the circumcircle at point Y. Meet the circumcircle at point Y. And the internal bisector of angle C meets the circumcircle at point uh, Z. Right? So these are the internal bisectors, right? Like A, X, B, Y, and C, Z are the angular bisectors, internal angular bisectors of the triangle A, B, C. Then he says angle A is 50 degrees. See, you know that total angle is 50 degrees. Total of angle A is 50 degrees, right? But since this is an angular bisector, I can say this side is 25 degrees and the other side is 25 degrees, right? It will divide into two equal halves. An angular bisector will divide the angle into two equal halves. So if this is 25, the other is also 25. 50, so divided equally, 25 and 25. Angle CZY is 30 degrees. CZY, CZY. This angle is 30 degrees. So let me connect CZY first, right? We have to connect Z with Y. Right, C, Z, Y. This angle is 30 degrees. This angle is 30 degrees, right? Let me draw a solid line. C, Z, Y. This angle is 30 degrees. Angle C, Z, Y is 30 degrees. He is asking us to find out angle B, Y, Z. B, Y, Z. So C, Z, Y is given. C, Z, Y is given. B, Y, Z is equal to what? This angle is equal to what? That's a question mark. Right, what is this angle is a question. You understand? B, Y, Z. This angle. So let's try and work on this. Uh, how do we do this now? Uh, let, let me explain this. See, consider the chord CY. Let me use a different color so that it's easier for you to follow. Consider the chord CY. CY is like a chord. If you observe, CY is subtending an angle of 30 degrees at point Z. See, chord CY, this is a minor arc and the other side is a major arc. So if you consider the chord y, CY, it subtends an angle of 30 degrees at point Z. The same chord, you, that's what I was trying to tell you, right? You have to use a theorem which says that the chord will subtend at the same angle at any point of major arc. So the same chord CY, sub, what, what angle will be subtended at the point B? Same 30 degrees. I mean, this, this angle, 30 degrees. You're getting it? This also will be 30 degrees. Because CY, you, you understand. Let's say there is a circle. Here's a chord. You take all these angles are going to be equal. A B is a chord. Let's say this is like uh, you know point one, two, three, four. You take any point. Angle subtended by A B will be equal. Angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four. All are equal. You consider this one. It's equal. Five is also equal. You consider this one. Point six. This also is equal. All these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 angles are going to be equal. So that's the point. If CY makes an angle of 30 degrees with that point Z, the same CY will make an angle of 30 degrees at this point B. This angle is 30 degrees. Again, remember, you know that BY is an angular bisector. So if this side is 30 degrees, the other side also will be 30 degrees. Yes or no? From CY, we have got that this is 30. So this also will be 30. And now if this angle is 30, since this is an angular bisector, it will divide the angle into two equal halves. So if this side of the angle is 30, the other side is also 30. Right now, important we have found that the total angle A is 50 degrees. I mean, it was given already, angle A is 50, so 25 and 25. Now we have understood that angle B is 60 degrees because see 30 and 30 is 60. 
The total angle in a triangle is 180. So if A is 50, B is 60, how much should C be? C should be equal to, angle C should be equal to 180 minus 60 minus 50, which is 70. 60 minus 50, uh, 60 and 50 is 110. 180 minus 110 is 70 degrees. So angle C is one, uh, 70 degrees. This angle C is going to be 70 degrees. Total 70 degrees. Now again, since CZ is the angle of bisector, since CZ is the angle of bisector, can I say the 70 degrees will get divided as 35 and 35? So this is 35 and this also is 35. You're able to follow. Total angle is 70 degrees. Angle of bisector. So 35 this side and 35 the other side. Right? Now let me connect this line. I'll use a different color to explain the last part, last component here, right? Let's let's use this. You look at this. I'm I'm connecting BZ. BZ is like a chord, right? BZ is like a chord. Now this chord BZ makes an angle of 35 degrees at point C on the major arc, right? The same theorem again. Whatever you have used here. Same is applicable here also. So BZ makes an angle of 35 degrees at point C. So same BZ will make an angle of what at point Y? So it is the same chord which is making, which is which is meeting at two different points here. I mean, it's subtending an angle at two different points. So the angle subtended by BZ, angle subtended by BZ at point C is 35. So the angle subtended by BZ at point Y will also be 35. So can I now conclude that this angle is going to be 35 degrees? Yes, and that's your answer. Option 3 is your answer. Because what is he asking us to find out? He's asking us to find out Z, Y, B or B, Y, Z. B, Y, Z. B, Y, Z. B, Y, Z is 35 because B, C, Z is 35. Right? If I have to make one statement, I'll say B, Y, Z will be equal to B, C, Z. B, Y, Z. B, Y, Z is going to be equal to B, C, Z is equal to 35 degrees. So option 3 is the final answer. So as you can see, it's all about the diagram there and using those standard theorems that we know, right? If you can just follow that, you'll be able to crack this question. Option 3, 35 degrees is the answer.